Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Mickey Mouse. Hey, everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse. We're going to meet my friends Mickey. Say, you want to come inside my clubhouse? Minnie. It's you. <laughs> and Goofy. How you doing, pal? On our adventure. They're so excited to see you. Oh, it's so nice to see you. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. Join me in the world of Mickey Mouse. Home to my friends Mickey. Welcome to the castle. Minnie. There's a kiss to send you on your way. Donald Duck. Goofy and Pluto. Hope you have fun today. You are here, surrounded by sunshine and happily chirping birds. My friends and I are so happy you're here, getting comfy with us. Mickey and Minnie Mouse snuggling close on either side of you. Minnie leans over and puts her arm around your shoulders for a big hug. This is going to be a special day. I just know it. Before you see him, you can hear Donald Duck is grumpily quacking his way over to us. Chip and Dale are always pestering and frustrating him. But when he sees you, a big smile comes across his beak. He waves his wing hello and sits down across from you. Mickey looks off to one side and whistles. You can hear something running fast in your direction. It's Pluto. He gallops up to you and jumps in your lap for puppy kisses and hugs. You hug him tightly. Mickey pats the floor right next to him and Pluto hops up to go sit by Mickey. Huh, I almost forgot. To make the clubhouse appear, we get to say the magic Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. On his way over, he pounces on Donald Duck and takes his blue sailor hat right off his head. Goofy giggles as he reaches down to grab the hat out of Pluto's mouth and put it back on Donald's head full of puppy slobber. Goofy sits down next to Donald Duck, who is back to his grumpy quacking. Mickey looks over to Donald and says that when you feel grumpy and frustrated, the best thing to do is take a couple deep breaths in and out. Donald Duck says that sounds too simple and that his hat is full of slobber now, but Mickey insists. Let's try it. Take a slow, big breath in through your nose. Feel the cool sensation of fresh air coming in through your nose. As it fills your lungs, your chest rounds all the air out. Then, using your tummy muscles to push all the air out through your mouth. Your chest lowers back down and your breathing resumes its natural rhythm. Minnie looks over at Donald, who looks much calmer now. Let's try one more big breath in case any grumpiness or frustration is lingering in our minds. Let's take another big, slow breath in through our noses. Your chest rises as your lungs fill with fresh air and your heart fills with happiness. Then, slowly breathe out through your mouth. As your chest lowers back down, imagine giving some of the happiness in your heart to the world around you. Take one last moment to make sure your whole body is as comfortable as possible. All the way from the top of your head, down your neck, spine and hips, to the bottom of your toes. 
Mickey says that as the head mouse, his number one job is to spread joy and happiness to all who come to visit him. He says that some days it's easy to spread joy and happiness, but other days he has to take a moment out of his busy mouse day and remember all the happiness that lives in his heart so he can share it with the world. He wanted to be here with you today to help you remember all the happiness that is around you and that lives in your heart so you can make the world around you a little happier. Minnie Mouse agrees and says that she's able to see all the goodness in your heart. It radiates from you like a bright, loving light. Why did you learn to dance like that? It's so much fun! Goofy nods his head along with Minnie. Thank you so much! Goofy says that no matter how stressful or frustrating your day might have been, you deserve to take this time to relax and focus on happy thoughts and feelings. Take a moment to make sure your neck and back are as straight as possible and that your shoulders and hips are evenly supporting the rest of your body. Pluto puts one ear up in the air, listening, but now his ears are not even and aligned. Mickey reaches over to gently place Pluto's ear back down so it can be aligned with the other. Make sure both sides of your body can hang evenly, like Pluto's floppy ears. If you can, align your shoulders to your hips as if they are stacked one on top of the other. Now that your body is evenly supported, let's take another deep breath in through our noses. Your chest rises as your lungs fill with fresh air and your heart fills with happiness. Then, slowly breathe out through your mouth. As your chest lowers back down, imagine giving some of the happiness in your heart to the world around you. Now that your body is evenly supported, let's take another deep breath in through our noses your chest rises as your lungs fill with fresh air and your heart fills with happiness. Then, slowly breathe out through your mouth. As your chest lowers back down, imagine giving some of the happiness in your heart to the world around you. Keeping some of the happiness in our hearts for ourselves enables us to send any necessary love and happiness to our bodies, which work hard every day to keep us going through our busy lives. We made sure our shoulders were stacked on top of our hips. Now let's see how they feel. Do you feel any discomfort or unhappiness in your shoulders? Donald Duck raises his wing to say that sometimes he keeps his grumpiness in his shoulders. He notices throughout the day that his shoulders round downward. Make sure your ears are far away from your shoulders and that your shoulders are straight and strong like Donald Duck's wings when they are outspread. To check in with our shoulders, let's take a big breath in through our noses. As your chest rises, imagine that it's pulling any discomfort or unhappiness that might be hiding in your shoulders away from your shoulders and into your chest with the air. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth. As you breathe the air, any discomfort from your shoulders out, let your shoulders be squishy and heavy like Pluto's floppy ears. Now let's check in with our hips. Do you feel any discomfort in your hips? Goofy says that sometimes he gets so silly that he ends up being crooked, like his whole body is lopsided. His hip bones are just as goofy as he is. 
If your hips sometimes feel a little goofy, you can give them some of your happiness and love from your heart to help them soften. Let's take a big breath in through our noses. As your chest rises, imagine that it's pulling any discomfort that might be hiding in your hips away from your hips and into your chest with the air. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth. As you breathe the air and any discomfort from your hips out, let your tummy and your hips feel heavy in your comfortable position. Let them be soft and relaxed after your long day of movement and activity. Lastly, let's check in with our legs and feet. Do you feel any discomfort or unhappiness in your legs and feet? Before we take our last big breath with our Mickey Mouse friends, make double sure that your neck and back are as straight as possible and that your hips are evenly supporting both of your legs. Once your hips are even, let's take a big breath in through our noses. Breathe in. As your chest rises, imagine that it's pulling any discomfort that might be hiding in your legs and feet far, far away from them. Then, slowly, breathe out of your mouth. As you breathe the discomfort out, let your legs and feet be squishy and soft, like Pluto's hanging ears. Minnie thinks you did a great job. Check in with your body to make sure it gets all the love and happiness it deserves. Minnie always makes sure to thank her busy body when she takes time to relax after a long day at the happiest place on earth. Along with Minnie, say thank you to your mind for giving you the ability to focus on the goodness in your heart and all around you. Thank your hands and all of your fingers for allowing you to reach for all that you want in life. Thank your heart, your lungs, and your belly for all the work they do every day. Lastly, thank your feet and your toes for getting you anywhere you want to go. Whenever you need to remember the happiness that lives in your heart, you can remember our time together at the happiest place on earth with Mickey Minnie, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Pluto. They are so happy to spend time with you because there's no one in this whole world like you. I hope you can use what you learned here to be the best you possible. Always remember that Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>